So in this question, we're given a sequence that has 120 terms, and we don't really know anything about the sequence other than that. They want us to find the value of the 105th term. So we're going to need some statements here because that's very little information. And uh, statement one seems a little bit easier to evaluate uh, because statement one gives us the value of the first term. So now that we know that the first term of the sequence is negative 8, can we infer the 105th term? Can we infer any other term in the sequence? Uh, the first one is negative 8, the second one is, well, I have no idea. So just knowing the first term is really not enough to do much of anything. Uh, so we should go ahead and eliminate A and D because those are the answer choices that claim that statement 1 is sufficient on its own. Looking at statement two on its own, now we have a connection between any two terms in the sequence. So we know that every term is 10 more than the preceding term. So since they're asking about the 105th term, we could say that that would be 10 more than the 104th term, and the 104th term is 10 more than the 103rd term, and so on. But with just statement two on its own, we don't actually know the value of any of the terms. So we really have no anchor to attach ourselves to in the sequence. I don't know if the sequence is a sequence of negative numbers or positive numbers or some of each. Maybe we're in the millions, maybe we're in the billions, maybe we're close to zero. I have no idea where the sequence sits on the number line. Uh, so since statement two is not sufficient on its own either, we can go ahead and eliminate B and now we're down to just C and E. When we combine the statements, we know the first term is negative 8, and we can figure out every term after that by adding 10 each time. So the sequence would look like this. Negative 8, 2, 12, 22, 32, 42, 52, 62, and so on. Now, the good news is we don't actually have to calculate the value of the 105th term. We just need to be convinced that one could calculate that value if one wanted to. So if we're convinced, if we're like, look, I know the first term, I know that I can figure out all the terms thereafter, then uh, we can confidently pick answer choice C because even though alone they're not sufficient, together these statements are sufficient to find the value of really any term in the sequence, including the 105th term. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.